listening, this photo I was trying hard so much to turn it around, to rotate, it doesn't really listen to me. So I have to re put it in this way. <clears throat> so, the tongue is like this. How would you read from this tongue? Because we can't really do my pal palpation. But good job, is she is a student for me. So I can ask her to do herself. But at the moment, this tongue, what would you tell for this tongue? Yes. So she doesn't have a she uh, she doesn't have a young deficiency. Yeah. She always feel cold, but she actually. So what I wrote back to her. What 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 can you know from the tongue photo? What is the differentiation? You think it's in yin deficiency, right? Right. What I know. What I said. My answer. Hi, Victoria. Thanks for the photos, and sorry for not coming back to you soon, as I was traveling between jobs. Your tongue indicates you have qi and blood deficiency, heart and stomach yin deficiency. Um, slight liver qi stagnation due to blood deficiency, deficient here due to heart yin deficiency. Please check if that is correct. From tongue, I, I read a bit more for upper jaws, probably, rather than the lower jaw. But I do believe the kidney also has troubles that have been really mentioned in here. Okay. So, uh, she wrote back to them. Dear Dr. John, thanks for your reply and diagnosis of my tongue. I fully agree with the blood deficiency, dry skin and dry and brittle nails, dizziness, and a slight degree qi deficiency. However, with regard to heart and stomach yin deficiency, I don't have any symptoms, no palpitation, never had one in my life, sleep well, and no digestion problem. The photo did not show the root of the tongue, which is coated with some spots. I, so, in here, actually shows the kidneys deficiency, so it's that issue. Right? Um, I have no signs of heat, as I'm always cold and don't sweat, or have five pound heat. I'm definitely more deficient hyperfunction of junk food than hy hyperfunction. I'm very deficient. With reference to my original complaint of unpleasant or vaginal uh, odor, how does this tie in with tongue diagnosis and how can we treat it? Thanks for your reply. Right, my answer. My answer. Hi, Victoria. Your tongue looks thin in thickness, blood or immune deficiency, but broad in width, chi deficiency. Tooth marks, chi deficiency. Light red, but tender with, with tiny cracks, yin deficiency. In the middle and the front part of the tongue, the unfresh unf smell front vagina, from the front vagina, as you know, it is the opening connecting to liver function and liver meridian goes passing it. I therefore believe the smell is because of either damp heat, rotten kind of smell is basically due to the heat in lower jaw that overflows through kidney and bladder or liver meridian. Damp is produced by sluggish spleen, obviously. Heat may come from yin deficiency or residue heat from former infection. Therefore, I will need you to help palpate your kidney, liver, and spleen meridian, and report back what you found uh, on them. Hope that makes sense to you. Regards. Okay, so she wrote back. Dear Dr. John, here are the results of the most sensitive point. Liver 5, spleen 3, 7, 8, 9, kidney 5, 8, 9, 10. Also, I have just noticed some fungus at stomach 44 on left foot. Acupuncture point will amaze me when you palpate and the, then the difference in such uh, in ouch uh, factor. Damp heat, my favorite. Fishing you, wishing you a nice weekend, Victoria. So, she already reached the, um, the, the conclusion now. So you can see, uh, I, you know, for that area, it could be liver troubled, right? So I didn't really exclude the liver, but the palpate tells you liver is less. Liver five is actually low connecting point, which is linking to the vagina. So that's not a surprise for me to see liver five get sensitive. But all the other liver meridian do not show any sensitivity. Major problem coming on spleen and kidney. So. That conclusion already very clear. Mm -hmm. So that is a difficult case with distant symptoms plus tongue plus gas. But if it smells, it's already uh, mm. signs uh, damp heater. 
If what? it smells, it's normally they will should not smell it. it mm. Then it's, we can say cold damper or... Yeah, so if it smells, it's already damp heater. It's very clearly. Well, so for us, for, for experienced doctor, you were straight straightforward to say, okay, this is the damp troubles or heat troubles. But for a lot of beginners, they might not think this way. And plus, also you mentioned the damp coat can also cause smells. So yeah. how to identify if this is the... Uh, no, normally heat. damp cold, not mm. damp heat. That's right, yeah, that's cold, that's, but because her tongue doesn't show a typical damp trouble. Mm. Yeah, it, it doesn't show the typical da damp trouble. So, to me, as I, I said, the, the heat is not like generally, uh, is not generated by the liver heat. It's actually a byproduct of yin deficiency or spleen, spleen chi deficiency um, causing damp or cold damp, staying for a long time and turning into the heat, but it's kind of a leading to the heat not a excessive heat. Yeah, for me. So, my question is based on Liu Wei Bi Huan Wan, Si Jun Zi, plus Si Miao Sen. And then just two, uh, well, only just one prescription, that two weeks, that, that was clear for that. Mm. So, that's the end of today's lecture, but um, because we still have time, um, everyone leave you, because we, we think um, <coughs> that's the time for you to work with your partner, post reading, and then try to work, work on each other's body, because we have so many back now, so that's the time for practice. Okay? we back to that rule. Yeah, yeah, we'll go back to that rule. But I think before that, you might read each other's pose and tongue, come to certain conclusions for diagnosis for constitutional, or if you particularly have a symptom, and work on a symptom. I said, obviously, her patient can come in two ways. One is symptom centered focus. So, people come in with a major symptom, then you work on that straightforward. And then also, people come in for general um, kind of M MOT service, then you go to the constitutional. Um, so, you know, they, they, by the end of the um, her patient, you might come to the same, basically, or the same kind of conclusion, but it can be a different approach. Do we break at 12.30 or 1 o'clock? Sorry? Do we break at 12.30 or 1 Because uh, I think the schedule says we break at 12.30. Oh, 12.30. Oh, right. I just, I don't know. So, we only have 10 minutes. Yeah. So, we only have 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, one person. So, um, I was a bit too fast reading the notes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, because um, that will be the end of my lecture, so, um, you know, um, I'm happy to stay here until, you know, you're happy. Have you, have you any other interesting cases you might share with us? Yeah. Just from... Let me see. Quite, quite a lot, but... Um, I have a pain. Yes? Yeah. something? Yeah? <laughs> yes. Sorry? Mm -hmm. I, have, I have pain, so maybe that's something you can uh, see if there's any... So we can use that as a model? Yeah. 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 Is that that's something? Good. Yeah. 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 Then, then, yeah, then maybe later we can do other things. Especially at night, not uh, through the day when I walk and when I am around, it's not not very uh, heavy, but I wake up in the, in the at night from the pain. Okay. Mm. And there's something I, when I wake up at night, mm. I have to go, go to the toilet. And then after the toilet, I it's uh, become lesser the pain. So my bladder is also involved. I think. So you mean um, the pain wakes you up with with the urge of going to the toilet, empty your bladder. It's pain, and then I think, oh, I, I will go to the, right. to the toilet. Yeah, yes. And after you empty your bladder, you yes. get better with the pain yes. too. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I. Uh, okay, so what kind of pain was that? Is that the achy pain? Is that the sharp pain? No, it's radiating pain. Achy. Achy. Okay. Sometimes it goes through the leg, so I think. Goes through the leg. What yes. do you mean? Well, uh, no, it's it's. Uh, I thought uh, it is the gallbladder meridian with a little okay. bit of the stomach meridian, right, but yeah. because you think for the palpitation and everything, mm -hmm. I thought well maybe there's something else involved. Okay. It's only the gallbladder and uh, maybe the stomach. Okay, so um, can you tell us what, what kind of started off, what, remember, when it first started, uh, what happened? Uh, it started in, 
in uh, last year May, I think. I was very busy, uh, hard working. Mm -hmm. I had uh, a congress in Rotenburg, so mm -hmm. I had to. I don't know if you were in Rotenburg, but there are uh, very long stairs. So it started with uh, the stairs in Rotenburg. I thought, okay, I did too much work, and I have. T uh, I. Um, mm. So did you sort of stand for a long time that time when you were busy? Uh, no, no, it was more busy in more, practice. Moving, moving around. And no, it was more more busy in in practice and uh, board work and everything. So okay. it was it was not uh, heavy work for the for the body, but more for the for the mind. I think. Okay, right, yeah. And um, do you only just wake up once, or how many times do you wake up? Sometimes when it's when it's getting better, one time. Okay. When it's getting worse, it's uh, two. Most of the time, two or three times, two or three times. in the night. Okay. Yes. So, um, the what what time roughly you wake up around? Uh, Do you know? Well, that's not that's not always the same time. Not it's, always the same no, time. No, no. It's it's okay. very. Uh, mm. It is sometimes it's uh, two o'clock. Sometimes it's four o'clock. It's not one time uh, specialized. Okay, so um, apart from that, to, walk, to getting off the bed, walking around, you feel better. Is there anything else you feel, you know, you do can, can release the pain? Uh, well, at, at the day, I forget the pain. No, so the daytime yes. you forget about pain? Uh, yes, okay. yes. So does your, does your neck particularly feel, prefer warm or cold? I or does it feel cold or warm? For me, I mm. don't feel any difference with the other feel. leg, but okay. I didn't felt my skin. <laughs> I didn't do it for myself. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. No. So if you apply hot water bottle, would it make it better or worse? Uh, you didn't do anything. Mm, no needles. I I, I did acupuncture needles. for okay. myself, but I didn't do any warm or cold. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. there's no difference for. You wake up because of pain or because you want to go to the toilet. I wake up for pain. Wake up pain. Most of the times I wake up for pain and then I think, oh, okay, mm. I go to the toilet. Even without go to the toilet, you just turn around on the then, bed, that be relieved or better? No when, I, no, when I don't go, because sometimes you don't have uh, <laughs> much, how do you say that, I don't want to go, I want to stay in my bed. So I think, well, okay, I, I stay. And then it's, uh, it's uh, staying mm -hmm. uh, bad, mm -hmm. and then when I go to the toilet, it's probably it, it's. Did you try to just uh, pain? You get up to walk around and then go back to sleep without going to the toilet. Well, may maybe no, they didn't. I didn't try. You didn't try. No. Okay. So when you wake up in the morning, do you have the pain? Yes. You do have the pain. Yes. Okay. So um, do you do you wake up the pain with you lying on the, the painful air uh, sides or you? You lie flat well, on your back. Uh, when I have pain, mm. uh, then it doesn't make the the difference on which side I lie. Okay. I start with sleeping on my uh, right side because yes. it's the left. Yes. And then in the in the night I turn around and then mm. there is no pain and then mm. there is pain and then it doesn't uh, change in the way I uh, change on the left side or the right side or on my back. Then it okay. stays. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, in what kind of situation that pain can start off if you, you know, during the daytime? Uh, well, um, uh, sometimes when I sit for a long time, sometimes mm -hmm. when I walk for a long time. If you sit for a long time, yes. you walk for a long time. Yes. Okay. How quickly, when you lie down, how quickly does the pain come? Well, um, I, mean, I th sometimes people when they lie down, pain comes straight away. No, it's it's more. I think I can sleep for two, three hours, and then it starts. Okay. So pain is by your left or back, lower back? No, it's it's uh, really Sorry. the hip. Oh. Sometimes it goes a little bit to the back, but most of the times it's it's real the hip. If it's press, on my hip. It's painful. Present. Yes, it's pain. Well, it's it was painful than than now. It's it's becoming a little it's bit. It's not the backwards, the sides. No, it's real. It's just the uh, toe hunter. Yes. Uh, do you touch the temperatures? So no, I didn't. I didn't. So we need to palpate ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go. 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 <laughs>